Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you may be. I'd like to show you this time a feature available to you in Excel which enables you to create what are called scenarios. The idea of a scenario is that I can see, uh, for example, uh, a normal case. Uh, this might be a budget of, uh, of a project uh, where the sales are going to be 100,000, certain overheads, the total overheads and the net profit. What I want to be able to do is to see the result of uh, the net profit subject to the cells changing. Now I know that I can uh, change them in Excel via the keyboard and uh, see the end result but Excel enables me particularly for uh, presentation perhaps to an audience uh, of the result by changing scenarios. This is just a simple explanation but remember it's the concept that counts and you'll see as we go through that you can change the value of these cells to show me a result without having to go back to the keyboard. And the way it works is this, in the data tab you'll find that there is a in the data tools group a command called what if analysis. So what I'm going to do is to click the drop arrow and go to the scenario manager. Up pops the scenario manager dialog box, I'll just drag it down to there and I'm going to add a scenario which I'm going to call normal because what I want to do is to treat these existing figures as normal. Now what I can do is to say to Excel if I change certain cells in the, in, the, uh, in the spreadsheet then show me what the end result is. So I'm going to change cell G4 and uh, man, uh, uh, Excel says control click to select non-adjacent changing cell so I'll hold down my control key and I'll say I might want to change that cell see how it's been added to the changing cells line the materials, uh, the other, and I'll, I'll finish up with a new figure down here if I change the value of those cells. Now I'll click OK and I want to leave all of these cells the same as they're showing down here because this is my normal scenario. So now I'll click Add and I want to add another scenario which I might call Best Case. Now the best case scenario uh, would be if I change uh, G4 for example to a higher sales figure, perhaps the overheads fall, whatever. So let's click OK and Excel says what do you want to change these figures to. So G4, I'm going to say that the uh, sales have increased to, a, to 125,000, another zero there. Uh, the wages will increase to we'll say 62,000. The materials I've been able to arrange discounts they're dropping down to we'll say 17,500 and the other um, I've simply shown other overheads might be vehicle fuel etc but we'll say we're able to achieve a drop in those down to 9,000. Now when I click add I can now put in a worst case scenario and we'll say OK and uh, the sales uh, drop from 100,000 down to 85,000 the uh, wages have increased to we'll say 58,000 the uh, materials still the same, 20,000, but we'll say the other costs have increased from 10,000 to 12,000. Now I click OK. Now you'll notice that my scenarios are all here and if I was presenting this spreadsheet to an audience I don't have to go back to the cells to make changes on the keyboard while I'm uh, presenting. All I need to do is say normal show and it shows me 
that normal scenario. So I would talk about that. Uh, sales 100,000. This is what we finish up with 15,000 after these expenses. But what's our best case scenario? Well, we'll click show and Excel immediately changes so I can see the best case scenario with the numbers that I've changed uh, is 36,500 as a net profit. But what's our worst case scenario? If things really go bad, let's show the worst case scenario. Well, we're going to take a $5,000 loss if uh, uh, these numbers are as they appear there. Now, there's one other advantage to scenarios in that here I see a summary button. If I click on the summary button and um, I'll show the result perhaps in uh, this cell here, I'll click OK and there I'm shown a summary of the scenarios that I've created. So it was very, very easy, nothing difficult about it. Uh, I'll go back to sheet one because the scenario summary has been put onto its own sheet. Sheet one goes back there. So if I want to look at them again, click on the what if analysis scenario manager. There are the scenarios there. And uh, using the scenario manager is an excellent way to show results in cells that you feel will change. If you feel that you want to leave a cell with the same um, number in any scenario, no problem. Just don't change the value in the uh, in the scenario as you're working through it. So uh, there we go. Uh, not not difficult. This is just a simple example of how scenarios work. <coughs> don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, comment if you need to.